good folks at Trader Joe's have found a brand new way to stay healthy. Take a look at Beefless Beef. To the eyes, nose, and taste buds, it is as beef as beef can be. But, April Fool, this beef is straight vegan, comprised mostly of wheat and soy protein, and spiced up with canola oil and garlic powder. High in vitamins and minerals, low in calories, Trader Joe's beefless ground beef is impossible, but true. You know what the telltale sign is that this is not going to be near as good as it looks? Normally when I prepare any kind of meat in a frying pan over there, in the Yucker Yum Palace kitchen, this whole house is permeating with aroma, steam, sometimes smoke alarms going off. But usually when I'm eating any kind of meat at the table, there are dogs all around me. Tyrion, Pinkie Pie, Light Yagami number one, Light Yagami number two, maybe even dogs I've never even met. They will all crowd around here and see what's up because, I mean, it's a Pavlovian response with a dog. A dog smells meat or any kind of flesh, they come running because dogs are inherently meat eaters. And well, this looks like meat. They nailed the look, but it certainly doesn't smell like meat and I guarantee it's not gonna taste like meat. Now this, this is what I've wanted. This is what I've wanted all this time. I've been harping ever since so many reviews ago that I want some kind of substitute for the flesh of animals because I'm such a, such a lover of animals. I don't want to kill them, but I'm helpless to the allure, to the, the fattening grease burgers, to, 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 to White Castle burgers, to McDonald's, to, to pork chops, to, to, to any kind of meat. I just, I just inhale it. And I'm sure a lot of people out there are, are the same thing. And you, you think just like this mind boggling, just how many of these animals must get butchered every day to satiate our ravenous appetites. Ah! I want to stop that. But yet at the same time, when I look at this, it looks, the fact that it looks so much like meat, it's heinous to me. Um, now, I'm eating it in its most base form here, which means I'm going to taste every taste there is to taste when it comes to this. Um, I would imagine this would be a little bit more helpful when you're mixing it with things like chopped meat and like meat sauce, or like if you're making chili or, or like meat for nachos, tacos. I would imagine if you like put some like spices on this, you'd really be able to hide the fact that this is vegetable based or tofu based, whatever the heck based this is. Um, you know, you, there are ways to hide this, but um, but maybe, just maybe, I'll, I'll be eating those words when I eat my first bite. Maybe the taste is so heinous that it would drown out any other foreign tastes. But let me give it a whiff first. Meat, it is not. It doesn't have that typical meat smell, as it probably wouldn't. What more can I say at this point? I'm just going to take a nice heaping forkful. I'll let you know if meatless meat, that's what I call it. It's really beefless beef. But um, I'll see if it's worth your time. It doesn't taste near as bad as some of the tofu-based stuff that I've eaten for the show. Um, it tastes probably about on par with that White Castle veggie burger I had a while back. But yeah, this is a lot better than that tofurky stuff. It's still not great. It really has a very light taste to it, which I guess the lighter the taste in this case, the better. It does have a, a hint of like a meat-ish kind of taste. But just a hint. I guess there was like a such a thing as like 110% lean beef. This is probably what it would taste like because it's like beef without all the good stuff in it. 
But yeah, I am confident you shouldn't eat it like this. You shouldn't just eat it straight out of the pan, but you could probably make tacos out of this and they would taste pretty, pretty damn good. Not as good as, a, you know, a regular beef taco or, you know, even like, I don't know, like a, like a turkey taco or chicken taco or stuff like that, like with ground turkey and chicken meat. This would taste less like beef than even those would, but I guess it's a decent substitute. We're on the right track. The thing is, I think we're concentrating too much on making it look like meat and not taste like meat. Start with the taste. I don't care what it looks like. It could look like one of those pills you see them eating on the Jetsons. I want to pop that thing in my mouth and I want to taste real beef. I want to taste steak. I want to taste eggs. I want to taste all sorts of kind of meats that, that I don't have to butcher an animal to eat it. And speaking of animals, I have animals that I'm very, very curious because like I mentioned before, they should all be crowded around me like this is the Last Supper and they're not here. Well, Tyrion's over there, but he's not even looking at me. He's looking way off in, into the distance. So he don't care, but I guarantee he would eat it if I gave it to him. So that's like shooting fish in a barrel. I, I need to put a little bit of challenge behind this, a little bit of oomph. So what I present to you, my first time ever here on Yuckerium, it is going to be Third Opinion starring Pinkie Pie, because Pinkie Pie doesn't eat anything. All right, Pinkie Pie, don't say I never gave you nothing. Guys, give her some room. Pinkie Pie? She don't like it. Epic fail. How about you, Tyrion? Of course Tyrion likes it. At a girl, Pinkie Pie, what a good showing. Stick with me and eventually you'll have your own theme song here on Yucker Yum. <laughs> so what more can I say about this? I had to get rid of the bowl so I can only have the frying pan here to show you what's left of it. Unfortunately, I can't think of really much to do with this, so this is probably going to all go in the trash. Um, but it's not the worst thing I've had for the show, so if I were to give this a star rating, I'm really tiptoeing between the two and a half and the three, because... You know what? I'll give it the three stars because this is pretty damn good compared to everything else, and they are on the right track. I still say it's not finished. I still say there's a little bit more work that needs to be done here. They need to infuse it with some kind of beef flavor. I know it's out there. I mean, I've had strange beef flavored things that kind of taste like beef like sometimes even the Lay's potato chips that come out like there's a beef flavor like steak chips and stuff like that they taste like steak why not put some of that in there just flick it in there like jack black flicking crumbs all over my face and i know i've made that comparison once before but it's just apropos for so many things but um yeah this is not bad i'd say definitely if you want a locale alternative to meat and you don't want to if you're like me you don't want to butcher so many animals and have that hanging over your conscience when you step through the pearly gates this is not a bad alternative so this is your good buddy hottie scotty pancake 603 saying until next time where we once again ask the question is it yuck is it yum or is it yuck or yum see you around look out flying butt Mama's home cooking coming to get you. The Oya! It started out as the dream of an ultimate video game tape system. Now not only is it a reality, but it's putting the competition to shame, as it's the top selling entertainment machine in these here United States, with new game tapes released on a daily basis. Swig of water for the working man. Now on to Biznetch. I hear there's a viewer out there named Muhammad Bushamach who's got his panties in a bunch about me mentioning my boss, Vinnie Mac, on this here program. Let me tell you like this, Mohammed, if that's your real name, you obviously follow the sport of sports entertainment, and you obviously were a fan of Stone Cold Steen Aston back in the Attitude Era. So what do you suppose the one takeaway from the Attitude Era was? To respect your boss? Don't speak out against your boss because your boss always wins, and I never had a crossword to say about my boss. There are only two people in this gimmick called the Earth that I call boss, and that's Ted Fowler and Vinnie Mac. It sounds to me, son, you might need a little smidge of respect beaten into you. 
I'm happily retired, but I'm tougher than a $2 steak. And I'll throw down with you and smear your sorry carcass over 316 Gimmick Street. I'll clock you upside the skull, like a certain Pearl River Neon beer clock head spin around that son of a bitch like a rotisserie chicken. You better step on back and put that little tail in between your legs and stay the hell out of my biz, not you piece of trash. And that's the bottom line, because I said so.